What up, yo? This is your boy, Jun Jun. Um, I'm gonna come, this is my podcast. A little bit of podcast is just me talking. Um, you know, me just talking real to you. Um, I just want to say, what do you have for me? Those are questions that, uh, it's hard for me to even try to answer. Because if a person asks me, and which person have asked me, what do you have for me? Um, it's a it's a it's a terrible question to ask someone. Because you're not asking that person in a safe place. You're not asking that person in a safe place. Because you might not be in that safe place. What do you have for me? What can I offer a woman or what knowledge I can give to her and her child or what encouragement or brotherly love I can give to him or his child. Speaking as a person that has been through a lot in his life and still learning, even in my age, um, 36 years old, man, I mean, there's some people say I'm old, but you know, uh, it's it's not your age, it's what you know. And I know a lot. Um, Sometimes I like to enjoy, like I be doing all my stories. I like to enjoy a lot, a lot of things. Um, Making you laugh. Um, Letting you feel good. When you, when you feel good on the inside. That is the best feeling. Not that you doing something that you hate doing. Um, you shouldn't hate doing nothing. If you if you in the game, if you doing any type of content, and the way the content is in this world, if you doing anything that that you don't enjoy doing, I don't enjoy drinking. I drink to relax. I drink. To kind of middle out. Some people smoke weed. To do the same thing. Uh, middle out. Not smoke it. Because they trying to get rid of. A thought or. or some type of pain. That you feel in your life. It's not that. You are doing it to. To relax. And to go to a place. Where you're comfortable. It's when you get drunk, when you get drunk, and you constantly drink, and when you reach your point to where, it's a point where, alright, I am feeling good, that's when you start drinking, that was, that was a point, I'm not there yet, I'm not there yet, they say you're not there yet, but you there, it's a small circle, and then the next circle, is where you reach a point where, okay, I'm starting to feel it. And you're starting to feel it. And now that other circle is the last circle. And it is really, really small. When you go from, I'm drinking because I want to relax. And then you go to the other spot that I'm starting to feel it. That when it hits you fast. And now all of a sudden you, you are... I mean, you're not drinking because you enjoy it and you want to relax. You now over drinking, or you over. You you over drinking. That is that when you become drunk. That when you become drunk in. In your own sin or your own filth. Uh, I hate that feeling. I used to feel that feeling a lot. Growing up, where when, when I st- I started drinking it. I think I just started drinking heavily when I was 25. Because I just let the depression take me. I couldn't allow no one to come and comfort me. Or I never allowed no one in my in my space. Um, not your family. Your family, sometimes they flip-flop. They be there for you and then they shit-talk you right after you just literally walked away from them. Sometimes it take a person on the, off the street to kind of 
turn you or guide you into the right way. A question was asked to me. What will you do for me? I failed the first time. I failed the second time. I failed the third time. Those are three strikes. Not to that person. That's three strikes to you. Now it's time for you to say to yourself. What I'm going to do when I go to that dugout. All these. I, I, I don't struck out. Are you still breathing? Are you are you, can you talk? Do you still have a job? Do you still have a family that you that depends on you? Then you're not done. You just just gotta sit it out for a minute. You gotta sit it out and relax. I got where I write stuff down now. Like some like you kind of see some content, but they I, I I'm not talking to a people that that family or or certain people that know me. I, I'm talking to anybody. You have to first break through that wall. And I broke through that wall. You see you see all these these spots? Now I just in, uh, erased some of it. And now it's, it's it looks like a it's like a earth. It's like the center of the earth. And I'm just gonna have stuff covered out. That's what I wanna do. I want to reach that center of that chill that I always had. I just, I mess up this time. That one strike, mess up, build a chill. A second strike, mess up, build a chill. A third strike, mess up, build a chill. Oh, get out of the dugout. Three more strikes. You now all of a sudden you is trapped in this, in, in, in this, in this layers. That's six layers now you have to turn through. No, stop now. When you come out of your mother, there's one through ten. At ten years. At ten years. And then there's twenty to thirty. That's ten years. What have you done in 20 years? What have you done? Did you did you do good in those 20 years? Oh, let's stop. Let's say a woman or your best friend, male or female. Your best friend come to you. A person that you knew your whole life. That thinks they know everything about you, but don't. Come to you. Ask you one question. What can you do for me? Now, not, don't know anything else about you. Don't know nothing else. Don't know what you did today. Don't really care about what you did la- last week. Don't care about nothing right now. Afraid they really don't know you. Why you don't know you? Because you have not went over that third strike. I've been doing better over my third strike. Visually, you, I mean, third strike you have. They said 85 is is pretty much a score. That's why a lot of people go through middle, mid, uh, midlife crisis and stuff like that. This is where you at now. At I'm at my third strike. This is your third strike. When you come out of your mother from zero... What to to eighteen? Eighteen, you go to college, you'll do whatever you want to do, get a job. And then you hit thirty. What are you doing? What have you accomplished? Have you done nothing with your life? Have you complained? Have you bitched? Have you moaned and complained all the way through your years? What you gonna do with that dirt strike? Huh? Now you starting to break through. That shell. And that's what I will do. That's what I'm doing right now. That's not only what I want to do. No. Freak what you want to do. What you got for me. 
What do you have for me? Not no one else. What do you have for me? This is a this is a strong topic for me because I have been through it. I have been through a lot. But is you still going? Or have you stopped? Have you stopped and just gave up? Now in that third strike. That third strike, you built that child. This child that you trying to create what you got for me you know what you got for me I know you drink I know you smoke on occasion I know you like to have fun I know you like to do these skits but what do you have concrete for me the child is right here you heard a baby crying the baby is crying because you lifting that baby outward to this person and asking this person, "What do you have for this right here?" Not me. I want you to know. I want you to tell what you have for me because this is connected to me. If you come to me and tell me, "Hey, I'm your friend. Hey, I'm your brother. Hey, I'm your lover." Okay, what do you have for my extensions? Extension of me. What do you have for me? What can you say? Why well, do this? I do this. No, no, no. What you can say to this right now? Not last week. Freak last week. I don't care. I don't care about baby mama. I don't care about baby dad. I don't care about blah, 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 blah. Freak that. Now, what do you have for me? The only answer I can give is me. A promise to do better. Me. Not a gun to your head. Not none. No. The, a child to your head. Nourishment. This is a new relationship. This. We can work with you. On this old relationship. We can help build that. But I am not going. Back that way with you. I'm not going back there with you. I'm going to be here with you. Now. And we're going to move forward. You could get that fourth strike. But you know what happens when you get the fourth, fifth, sixth strike. You're 60 years old. You're 60 years old wondering what the hell did I do in 60 years. It's time to work on this third strike for me. Back in the dugout. What do you have for me? Huh? Because the fourth strike is not going to be the fourth strike. You coming out that dugout and you going to you got to hit with freak one two th- freak all that. I know I've been through pain. I know I've been through 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 suicide thoughts. I know I've seen the pain. In suicide. I know I done saw all of that. But what are you going to do for me? What do you have for me? What do you have for me? What do you have for me? Only me. Only me. And a, not a promise, but a guarantee to do better. You can only do better. You can't strike one, strike two, strike three, and you come out back at bat, and you hit the fourth strike, and you be like, oh, well, Audrey, no. What do you have for me? You know what the home run is? Accepting your past and building your future. I hope you enjoy a little snippet of my podcasts. I hope more to come. I hope you enjoy my content and I try to make it last. Love y'all.